All right, so we're gonna look at a time lapse again. Um, so just so you know, on the bottom right, uh, this is the time elapsed since insemination. So it's kind of cool to pay attention to that. And this is the, the, the position that the embryo is in. All right, so we're gonna first see these two circular structures. You can see them coming in here. So two circular structures. So one comes from the egg and the other comes from the sperm. Um, they contain uh, half the DNA that when together form the complete set of DNA for the embryo. And this is actually how you tell if an embryo is fertilized, by the way, by seeing these two pronuclei. All right, oh, they're gone now, so they fused. Now the, the um, the one cell splits into two cells with a bunch of fragmentation, um, you can see there. So it's two cells split into four cells. Uh, this fragmentation here is, um, you can use that to evaluate the quality of cleavage stage embryos. Uh, they're just basically fluid filled sacs. So uh, part of the cell will pinch off and form these, um, these fragments. All right, so from four to eight cells, so this is around um, around day three here. So you know, 72 hours would be day three. All right. So now they're going to split again into you know about 18 or or so cells. So now they're going to start to fuse to form the the morula. So you see all these cells; they're distinct, but they're all going to kind of smush together. So you can't really tell them apart. All right. So now it's formed the morula. So kind of like a cocoon where the cells inside here will now start to differentiate or change into cells of the inner cell mass or cells of the trophectoderm. So it's kind of dancing around a little bit, doing its thing. Now you can see it expanding. So the blastocele, which is a fluid filled sac inside the embryo, uh, also develops and uh, begins filling with water. So uh, these differentiated cells um, start to um, spread apart as the blastocele fills with water and we'll start to be able to see those individual structures. So it's filling. You can start to see the inner cell mass here. These are the cells that um, become the fetus and the rest of the cells, everything else is the uh, trophectoderm. And remember, this is a fluid filled sac. So this is just like a ball of cells filled with water. And you can see the cells along the side here, cells in the background, um, and the inner cell mass is inside this ball, uh, this sac of, of water. All right, so at this point, we could pretty much grade the embryo. So it's about 120 hours, that's five days. Uh, so the thinness of the zona suggests that it's a four. Uh, the size of the inner cell mass, it's not too big. It looks like it's probably B quality. Um, the amount of cells in the trophectoderm look about A quality. So probably a four BA.